Guys, imagine a week so big for tech that Apple, Meta, and even OpenAI all changed course to chase the same product. It's not VR headsets. We're talking smart glasses that you're going to want to wear all day. Meta's newest glasses sold out in hours. Apple shelved an entire headset project. OpenAI entered the hardware race, and an underdog Kickstarter is ending with a massive twist. Stay to the end. I'll answer the question everyone's asking. Should you buy now or wait? And which brand should you get? Here are the five smart glasses stories you probably missed this week and why they'll shape what ends up on that beautiful face of yours next. Meta's $800 Ray-Ban display glasses were gone in less than two days. Demos are booked through December and some people showed up for appointments and there was no stock for them to buy. Meta says demand is stronger than expected and plans to actually double retail availability this month. Therefore, even with a single eye display, the hype for these glasses is off the charts. If you want instant alerts on restocks and launch drops, subscribe. I break these every week. But if Meta can't meet demand, Apple's accelerated glasses timeline matters even more than you think. The $3,500 Vision Pro is too pricey for most. Apple's lighter Vision Air project, it's been paused. Those engineers are now moving into the smart glass departments. And it's not just one product. Reports say they're actually trying to make two different glasses right now. First, there's a basic model that rivals the Meta Ray-Band second generation, and a possible release date is 2026 or 2027. Then there's a more ambitious AR display version that's more geared towards competing with the Meta Ray-Band display glasses. And those are looking to be much later as far as release goes, around 2028 and possibly further out. So now, daily wear glasses, they're more important than the headsets in Apple's roadmap. But Apple closing the gap pressures Meta to fix its biggest flaw faster. One big complaint with the current model is that it's a single eye display. It feels unbalanced and reports are now coming out that Meta is accelerating a dual display successor potentially a year earlier than the original 2027 target. So this isn't a normal incremental upgrade. This is like a step closer to going full AR with glasses. So would you buy dual displays, even if it's monochrome, or would you wanna wait for full color? Comment dual now or color later. I'm tallying up for a follow-up, but hardware parity isn't the end game. The real race shifts to AI UX. OpenAI is working with Johnny Ives, and they're looking to make some AI-first hardware devices, which includes smart glasses. They're reportedly poaching Apple talent and using suppliers like LuxShare and GoerTech. The goal is to build the iPhone of AI. So now it's no longer just Meta versus Google versus Apple. This is like a, a complete AI arms race. And if you're new here, subscribe because I cover these shakeups the moment they happen. But it's not only the giants. So who has the most immediate dual display that you can actually try? Well, Rokid glasses are in their final Kickstarter days. I think at the time of this recording, there's like five days left. And it's already surpassed two and a half million dollars with over 4,300 backers. Now, the key differences between the Rokid glasses and the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses. First, Rokid has a dual eye monochrome HUD, where Meta has a single eye full color display. So as far as comfort goes, the Rokid glasses 
having dual displays, it's gonna feel much more comfortable to your eyes. However, it's what's called a monochrome display, meaning that it's only projected in one color, which is a cool green looking color, but it's not the full color like you get with the Meta Ray-Ban display glasses. As far as the camera goes, Rokit has video recording and it also supports landscape where Meta has video and it's vertical only. Another big difference, Rokid weighs in at 49 grams, where Meta is 69 grams. Another difference you're gonna find is their AI has real-time transcription in 89 different languages, and it uses chat GPT-5. Meta, on the other hand, it leans on its Meta AI model, which is a little outdated and not nearly as good as chat GPT. So there's a lot of back and forth between features and advantages. Rokit isn't full color, but Meta is. However, it's only in one eye. And right now, Rokit's in the last few days of their kickstart. And you can pick up the glasses with a charging case, prescription lens frame, and a $99 AI credit all for $549. And you can also get custom prescription lenses for around $100. So if you wanna try Rokid, I've put my affiliate link in the description. Early pricing and perks might end with the campaign and only back what you're comfortable waiting for. So should you buy now or wait and what should you get? Well, if you want color and Meta's ecosystem today, buy the Ray-Ban display glasses. Just expect a little bit of stock drama and a single eye trade-off. But if you value comfort and readability and want two displays, Rokit is the near-term test drive, Kickstarter risks included. If you're deep in Apple's world, the smart move is the wait. A basic Apple glasses model could land as early as 2026 and with full AR a couple years later. Therefore, your best move depends on color versus comfort versus ecosystem. Subscribe if you don't want to miss next week's drops and restocks the second they hit. And other than that, I'll see everybody next time.